Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at a problem involving differentiation. Before that, uh, this problem appeared on a recent exam, okay, a Maths IB standard level exam, okay, again, Maths IB standard level exam. Uh, May 2014 sitting. Okay? Paper 2, question number 7. Okay? I'm going to say that again. This question appeared on the IBSL maths exam. Okay? IBSL maths exam. May 2014 sitting. Paper 2, question number 7. And it carried 7 points. Okay? Or 7 marks. Good. The question goes like this, let fx be equals to gx over h of x. So I'm just going to call it gx and hx, okay? So fx is defined as a ratio of two functions, g of x divided by h of x, okay? They gave us some information, g of 2 is 18, h of 2 is 6, g prime 2 is 5, g prime 2 means the derivative of g where x equals to 2 is 5 again g prime 2 equals to 5 this means that the derivative of g when x equals to 2 is 5 and here h prime 2 is equals to 2 which means that the derivative of this function h yeah, at x equals to 2 when you evaluate it you'll get 2 okay so that's h prime 2 okay what are we asked to find we are asked to find the equation of the normal to the graph of f at x equals to 2, okay? So the important things, we are looking for the equation of the normal uh, to the graph of f at x equals to 2. So let's start. We want to find the equation of the normal. So whether it's tangent or normal, we need to find the derivative, okay? So let's start slowly. So we know f of x equals to g of x over h of x. So I'm trying to find the equation of the normal uh, to the graph of f, so I need to find f prime x, okay? f prime x. So f prime x, okay, we have used the u over v rule before, or the quotient rule, okay? So I have h of x squared, and then I have h of x, g prime x minus g of x, h prime x. Okay? So, if you like, I can write the formula here somewhere. Okay? The quotient rule. If y equals to u over v, then dy dx, where u and v are functions of x, dy dx will be equals to at the bottom we have v squared, then we have v du dx minus u dv dx. Okay? So this is the formula, formula that I'm using. So at the bottom I have h of x squared, and then I have hx g prime x minus gx h prime x. Just using the quotient rule. Okay. I can work out f prime 2, the value of the derivative. Okay, the value of the derivative at x equals to 2, that will be just plugging in the value of x, h of 2, g prime 2 minus g of 2, h prime 2 over h of 2 whole thing squared. What have I done? Where I see an x, I just plug in 2. Okay? Remember this gives me what? This gives me the radian of the tangent, okay, to the graph of f where x equals to 2. So let's evaluate that, okay. What is h of 2? 6. What is g prime 2? 5. What is g of 2? 18. What is h prime 2? 2. What is h of 2? 6. Okay, all I'm doing is I'm just plugging in the numbers. 
So that will be equals to 30 minus uh, 36 is minus 6. Negative 1 over 6. Okay. That is the gradient of the tangent. Okay. So uh, we will use okay, we will use m1 m2 equals to negative 1. Remember this idea? If you have perpendicular lines, then the product of the gradients is negative 1. So the gradient of the normal will be this negative 1 over 6. So the gradient of the normal should be 6. Okay? So now we know the gradient of the normal. We're going to write the equation of the normal. Uh, the point I know, because I know x equals to 2 at that point, I need to work out the value of y if I can use y. Okay? So let's start. I know x equals to 2. f of 2, which is what I said y just now, will be g of 2 over. Okay? Good. What is g of 2? 18. Okay. What is h of 2? 6. So I have the y value at that point is 3. So let me erase all these. Just use the things that we need to write the equation of the normal. Okay. So to summarize, the gradient of the normal is 6 and the point is, the coordinates of the point is 2, 3. So using y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1, we can write y minus 3 equals to 6 x minus 2. Okay, let me erase this. Right. Okay, so y minus 3 equals to 6 x minus 2. So we have y minus 3 equals to 6 x minus 12. Then our y equals to 6 x minus 9. Okay. This is the equation of the norm, and we are done.